got some post-election firecrackers going off. Wow, there's a lot of firecrackers going off right now. I've been living in Colombo for almost two months now, and I have never seen the streets so empty. This is what Sri Lankan elections look like. Pretty much no traffic going on. But that's it, the polling is closed, and Sri Lanka has a new president, and the new president of Sri Lanka is... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here in Sri Lanka. We are in Colombo today, in Mount Lavinia, and today is a very exciting day. It is Sri Lankan election day. 2019 election here in Sri Lanka is going on today. People are outside in the polls voting today all day. The streets are actually quite a bit emptier than they usually are. But I want to make a note right now, this video will not be political. I will not take a stance on anything. I'm here to purely show you and explain to you what's going on with this election. Because I'm in this country during this special time and I think it's pretty cool to show this off. So without any further ado, let's show you guys Sri Lankan election day. Bye. Rolling the intro. Before we start this video, I want to tell you guys who this video is sponsored by, and that is NordVPN. I will talk about them a little bit later in this video, but if you're coming to a country like Sri Lanka and you want to protect yourself on the internet, make sure that you check out NordVPN down below in the description. So we're starting this video in the office with everybody's favorite. You guys know him. You love him. It's Shetty. Go home with it, Shetty. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. So Shetty just went to vote, right? Today in the morning. Can you show us what that is on your finger? So that's a marker, so they put, make sure we don't cheat voting, so this is the evidence that we vote. And this is what Sherry's finger looks like right now. What is this? Is it just ink? Uh, it is a kind of a kind of permanent marker ink. It stays for for weeks, at least two, three weeks on the hands. It's hard to wash off. Super interesting, because that would never happen in the United States of America where I'm from. It's so interesting that everybody has to kind of paint their nail. But in a little bit, I'm hoping to head out to the polls and show you guys what it looks like on the outside of one of these voting stations. I probably won't be able to go in myself because I'm not allowed to vote in this country, but it will be cool to show off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah. I'm here with my friend, Brandon. Hi, hi. You guys might have seen him in a few videos before. We actually just finished the Tuk Tuk tournament together, and that's a video I'll be talking about later on this video because that's dropping really soon, our whole documentary. Epic. It was amazing, but right now, Election day, Brandon and I are gonna look for some lunch and then maybe walk around a bit and see if there's any chaos ensuing. So let's go get some delicious Sri Lankan food Yo. on Sri Lankan election day. Right, let's go. All right, so this is a really famous spot right here on the corner in Mount Lavinia that we usually go eat lunch and it's closed. So good though, I really wanted it. <laughs> All right, so we've actually come to an Indian restaurant because it's one of the only things that are open. All the little local Sri Lankan places are closed. We just got some curry and some rice and some chicken dishes. Yes. Good stuff, yeah. We're gonna feed up before election day officially begins. Oh, we got, here, we got, we got a little garlic oh, man. Yeah. Man's my favorite. We got a little, ooh, a little mutton <laughs> corn <laughs> <monk>. <laughs> the street, you know, now I'll make it. Okay, no problem. All right, that oh, was delicious. That was amazing. God bless, oh, God bless. God bless you, sir. God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> All right, now, enough dilly-dallying. It's time to actually find what's going on with this election. So as you guys know, when I travel to new locations, I try to pick up on the local language quite a bit. And I have been learning a little bit of Sinhalese. I think I'm not fluent by any means, but I'm actually picking up some words here and there that make having conversation a lot easier with people. So I'm gonna try to find a voting place right now because I really don't know what I'm looking for. And uh, I wanna show you guys how I converse with people here and see if I can do it right. So let's see what happens. Machan, go ahead voting. Go ahead, uh, voting. Voting? Yeah. Uh, you have to go from there. Uh huh. And uh, there is a temple. Name? Huh? Name of the temple? Uh, Dakshinarama. Dakshinarama? Yeah. How many minutes walk? You mean the waiting time? Or no, just to walk. I can't vote. I, I'm not Sri Lankan. Ah, okay. I just uh, want to go see. It will be around five minutes walk. Yeah. Five minutes yeah. walk? Just straight? Yeah, just straight and turn left. There's a temple. Okay. Straight, uh, turn left. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stuti. Okay. Stuti Machan. Huh? What do you guys think? Am I becoming Sri Lankan or what? It's crazy how many of these shops in uh, Mount Lavinia are closed today for the election. I'm kind of amazed that in election day, it's sort of like a holiday. 
things are just kind of closed down and business is not really run. I guess that's their way of sort of trying to promote people to go out and vote and focus on voting for just one day. So I think from what I've understood, this is the temple like I was told to go to, but I don't know, it looks like the temple's empty and also says don't walk through the temple. So don't really know if people are voting at this temple or not, but don't don't know where to go next. Go ahead, uh, voting. Sorry? Go ahead, uh, voting. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Uh. Yeah, I want to take a picture of voting. Same Thomas. Same Thomas. Thomas. Left side. Left side Left there. Side, yeah. Okay, study. All righty. It seems like we got a lead on where the voting might be happening. It's pretty interesting. I didn't think it would take this long to try to find it. I've been walking around for about 20 minutes now. But I got the heads up that there's a school here on the left. St. Thomas, I think is what it's called. And there should be some voting going on over there. Yeah, there we go. St. Thomas. I think this is a Christian school. The big cross outside. This is what the school looks like. I wonder if these booths right here are here for the voting or if this is always here. That tuk-tuk driver over there is one of the guys I spoke to earlier. He just went out of his way to tell me that I'm going the wrong way. What a nice guy. He just stopped over here and was like, right side, right side, get ready to take some pictures. Uh, I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to film. I, I don't know how it works with Sri Lankan politics and government and stuff, so I just hope I don't get in trouble or anything, but I think we're coming up to the school right now. Go ahead, uh, voting. Go ahead. Uh. Yeah. Look straight. Yeah. Straight? Yeah, straight, straight. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> He's Alright, a further update. Friendly took the guy, has just waved me down from across the street because I've gotten lost again. And he just waved me down. This guy's so awesome. He's going completely out of his way to lead me to this voting place. He just waved to me all the way from down there. I think we're getting really close right now. Oh. Is it okay to go inside? Or. Yeah, okay. Or, uh, it looks like this is to the polling station. I'm a little sketched out right now. I really don't know if I should be doing this. But I am walking into the polling station with a camera, so we'll see what happens. Okay, take a picture. Picture. Is it okay to take a picture outside? No, no. No, like not inside, but outside, over there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that was a little anticlimactic and a tiny bit uncomfortable as I got closer to the uh, guards holding two giant AK 47s. <laughs> I just asked them, I was like, is it okay to come in here with my giant camera rig and film your voting process? <laughs> and they were like, no, 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 no. You cannot come in here. <laughs> I don't blame them for being a little creeped out. Ironically enough, this place is right outside of the Palms Hotel where the Tuk Tuk tournament that I was just involved in ended just about two weeks ago. Our actual finish line was right here. There was a giant Red Bull arch right here and we drove our Tuk Tuks right through here after almost two weeks of driving Tuk Tuks around Sri Lanka. I'm actually gonna have a premiere of this video happening on my channel very, very soon. to pick one day as Cultural Integration Day. like some house.
please get ready for that. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and excited to watch it because I think you guys will love it. But that's that's as close I think I'm gonna get to you guys today for uh, the voting process. I can actually see a friendly local waving me down right now. Tuk tuk. Yeah. Kohomo de. Kohomo de machang. Elikiri. Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. Machang. You go voting today? You go vote? Yeah. You do already? You don't have? No. Uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock you go, okay. 5 o'clock finish. 5 o'clock finish? Alrighty, so I'm arriving back home now. Pretty uneventful, according to what actually happens in the next few days. Maybe things will hype up, maybe they'll die down, maybe there'll be curfews enacted, you never really know. So we will find out, we'll be keeping a close eye, and I'll update you guys as we go. It'll be interesting to see if uh, this election plays out in any interesting way or not. All right, good morning. It is the next day. I got a little cup of tea here that I'm drinking in the morning, and I thought it would be a good time to explain to you some of the stakes of the election because we're gonna get the voting results in just a little bit. All right, all right. I know that the lighting has changed. And everything's a little different real quick, but I gotta tell you, before we get into the intricacies of the politics, about our sponsor for today's video, Nord the VPN. Ladies and gentlemen, think of the internet as this cup. Now think of yourself as a fork and think of your phone and your computer as a knife. <laughs> what the f am I doing? When you're browsing the internet all willy-nilly, letting people mm, mm, sip whatever they want right out of yourself, you are leaving yourself exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where NordVPN, yes, NordVPN is this fork, comes in to save your butt. A VPN is a virtual private network and what it does is basically block your IP address from anybody being able to see it. But not only does it block your IP address, it blocks all your browsing history, all your browsing information from anybody who wants to steal it. When you're all willy-nilly hopping around airports, buses, going to trains, using that free public Wi-Fi that you love so much, those people who own those free Wi-Fis, they're taking all your data. They're stealing your bank information, they're charging your credit cards, they're doing all this really bad stuff to your money and your personal information. And you know what? You got a little shield that you're not using right now. It's called NordVPN, you just put that shield up. Save yourself all of this hassle. Ladies and gentlemen, NordVPN is here to save your butt. Now I wanna tell you something, NordVPN is working together with me on this video to provide you guys with 70 freaking percent off. Okay, I work with a lot of sponsors on this YouTube channel, but geez, 70 percent off is a commitment, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of money off. Not only that, but with my discount code right now, you will get four, four months. Four months, ladies and gentlemen. This table has four legs. That's one month for every one of these legs of NordVPN that you can have right now for free if you sign up with my link in the description. Guys, I can't stress this enough. NordVPN is supporting this channel. I think you need to support them as well. I'm not gonna hanker on the point too much, but get yourself protected. If you're traveling, if you're like me, you're going to different countries around the world, you wanna keep your stuff protected. All right, let's get back into the politics of this video. So the two main contenders for the Sri Lankan presidency this year are, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Gotabhaya Rajapaska, and this candidate is more widely known as just Raja Pasca. And the next one is Sajith Primadasa. None of this is my personal opinion. But from what I've understood, Raja Pasca, voting for Raja Pasca is like voting for somebody who's already been in government. Raja Pasca is running with the party of the Sri Lanka Podujana Hiramuna, or the SLPP. You know what you're probably going to get when you vote for this candidate, because there's been a track record. His brother, I believe, was in government before, and I might be mistaken, but I think one of the campaign promises is running with his brother or his cousin, which will be voted in for prime minister or something like that if he wins. And Sajith Primadasa is running with the New Democratic Front that the party is a part of. Voting for Sajith is like voting for a new fresh candidate from what I've understood, even though he has tons of controversy behind him as well, like all the presidential candidates that I've understood in this country do. From what I think I've understood, a lot of younger people are voting for him because they see him as less of a established character in the government and is just sort of like a new person that could come in and if they don't like him could come out in five years whenever the presidency is over. In Sri Lanka, there are four major religious slash ethnic groups in the country. You have the Sinhalese people, you have the Tamil, you have 
the Muslims, and you have the Christians. Each one of these has their own fears and concerns and their biases when they vote, and each one of them has a reason to vote for a different candidate in a fear if one other candidate wins. I want to clarify one more time in this video that I have zero political opinion on what is going on here, and everything I'm just telling you guys is what I've understood and sort of summarized to you from speaking to people and reading online. Anyways, it is 9.02 a.m. right now, the next day of the election. The results for the election should be coming in pretty soon, and we will find out who won the Sri Lanka presidential election for 2019 and who will be taking office here in Sri Lanka as a president in January 2020 hopefully everything stays calm and quiet and relaxed and everybody stays safe but we'll keep a close eye on everything that's going on and report back to you soon all right so back in the office we're now checking the computer in the news it looks like Sajith Primadasa has 51 percent of the votes right now and Rajapaska has got 41 percent of the votes Primadasa is actually winning right now He's in the lead. You can kind of see the breakdown of the uh, the screen right now of who's voting for who, what parts of the country are voting for who. So this is very interesting. It says that this is from 65 polling divisions. I don't know how many polling divisions there are, but looks like we're getting close to the end of this election, so we'll see what happens. All right, my friends, the election is officially over. I've been living in Colombo for almost two months now, and I have never in my life seen the streets, especially Gal Road, the busiest road of this country, so empty. This is the day after Sri Lankan election day. Look how empty this street is going towards Colombo. There's nobody on the street. Nobody's honking their horns. There's no traffic. Usually walking around here, you're almost always getting hit by a car and it is almost completely empty. That is it, Sri Lankan election is officially over. We have a winner for the new Sri Lankan president here in 2019 in Colombo. And the new president of Sri Lanka is Mr. Rajapaska. It seems like the polls and all the voting just came through right now. I've been keeping a close eye on it all day. I don't believe... All right, we got some post-election firecrackers going off. Wow, those are a lot of firecrackers going off right now. Whoa! These guys are very clearly happy about the winner. Sanjeet actually conceded from the election. He congratulated Raja Pasca on the whole thing. He said that a really beautiful note on how this was the most peaceful election in Sri Lankan history, that the seventh president of Sri Lanka will go in in a very peaceful way. So, I mean, I'm sure there's problems. I'm sure not everybody's happy, but it is pretty cool to see that there's at least a lot of progress happening in this country in a sense of, you know, peace and nonviolent elections in a, in a democratic-ish system. That's it. The election here in Sri Lanka is officially over and there's going to be a new president imposed here in January. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this election video. I will update you guys if anything else happens here. Sri Lankan Sinhalese word of the day today, which is going to be Namaya, which means the number nine. Please, please, please download NordVPN down below in the description. It's free for crying out loud. All you gotta do is download it and maybe sign up if you really love it. A link will be down in the description below. You'll be supporting me and Nord because they're supporting me as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys a long time. Goodbye, Clats.